It's time for the second edition of 30 Go. This month, Band 19 talks to Mike Idlis, Kathy Carter with Rods and Cones, but first, Jim Berkowitz and the Prime Movers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Movers. <laughs> As far as like an Austin crowd, a spit crowd, whatever you might see for clicks, you know, we don't really fit into any of them. And despite some people's animosity in those click stores, this, we're still here. We still play weekend nights in town, you know. Um, you know, we're not like one of the hip, like we may, we may not, like we've played around too long to really be considered like one of the hip new underground bands or something in town, like X, Y, or Z band might be, you know. But nonetheless, even the people that don't like us have to admit that we've persevered to like some pretty mean times. <laughs> I don't feel it compromised itself too bad. It, it's yeah. half and half, you know, you can get, I've seen some videos where they make you sick, and I, I can say to myself, I hate videos, I hate this. But some videos I like, and I see a whole, totally different part of them. I yeah. see a totally different view of it, you know. And some of them are, are just like a length, like, like the monkeys, like take the monkeys for instance, that's video, that's rock video, you yeah. know, as they're putting out now on MTV. And they're like trying, to, they're, they're starting to appreciate that. And it's just a link from that, but sometimes it just gets too, too stupid it's to really, appreciate. It's really broken. It's like any other medium. You can do good or bad, but it's funny how like MTV seems to define like this new set of rules. Like if you're gonna do a video, it's gotta be like this. It's gotta be like this. You know, all of a sudden there's this this guidebook to how to do video, which is what we tried to shy away from with ours. You know, you don't have to make it a story. You don't have to you know mm. have scantily clad women running around or whatever. You don't have to walk down the street playing guitar. Yeah, That's and my then, pet peeve. And it makes me sick. Like every video you see has to have a beautiful car, scantily clad girls who look like prostitutes, and the guy walking down the street playing guitar. I mean, I don't get it. Everything that's been done today was done in the 60s first, in, in most respects, and to, to just ignore that fact is kind of like cheating yourself. I mean, you know, we, we, we take a lot of classic 60s chords, put our own lyrics to them, really, really but, it's, it's, like, but it's only because we like that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's we, not because we think it's, it's hip, you know, it's just a new thing or something, it's because that's what we like. That's I mean, what we, we did it in high school. We're doing we also that. take like classic 80s or 70s stuff too that we like, you know. It doesn't have, it's not bound by any time. Uh, specific genre of music or anything. I think it's more enthusiastic in Boston just because people know the band, they know yeah. the music. Yeah, yeah. But for a first impression in New York this past weekend, like we played to a lot of people who have never seen us before. You know, I was really Great. happily surprised how much people got into it. Especially where in New York you have a large concentration of people who, I mean, if you think we're in the 60s, you should go to New York and yeah. some people. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we know we're living in the 80s. These people think they're living in the 60s. I mean, there was a good receptive crowd down there, but it's kind of like, oh, the Prime Movers, another 60s band. Well, let's go see them and like them, you know. Um, and we were 60s enough. Yeah, if we didn't project yeah. like any kind of 60s, I mean, none of those people would have come out to see us, you know. And if we didn't play a, a couple cool covers, maybe they'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. deal with it. Would you rather be in New York than in oh, Boston? No, 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 no. I mean, New York's a great place to go visit for all kinds of reasons, but I'd like to visit. All kinds but of reasons. I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah. What, what is it about Boston that really? Just that feel the dirty water, just man. That, yeah, the dirty water. Like, I don't know. I mean, I grew up here. I wouldn't want to live in New York <laughs> like for that reason to begin with. But the music scene's more active. 
goes without saying, there's more bands and more happening up here. Yeah. Less attitude. I mean, I don't want to rank on that. Yeah, back, well, there's attitude here too, but. But less. But less. Yeah. And. Well, wherever he goes, it's going to be like, kind of like a masquerade, you know? It's like, it seems to be a masquerade. Like, more. This is like, kind of a masquerade here as far as, like. Like, the, the crap that like, goes around. But that's right. That's there's there's more yeah. sense of fun up here. Yeah, there's more fun up here, I think. The attitude, yeah, the, order, the attitude in New York like, overcomes the fun. Definitely, don't you think? Yeah. Here, people like let, let go of that a little bit more. In New York, all those people that are into garage music and stuff are the kind of kids that when you went over to their house in grade school, they were like, don't touch my models. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, don't don't touch, my, don't touch my battleship models. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the video, you've met the band. Now win the plastic. Call 341-2784 and win the Prime Movers LP Matter of Time. Operators are standing by. 341-2784.